Gohan, your arm! Oh no! We're really in for it now, Gohan! What's up everyone, thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel, I'm your host Dexter Arafulis and today we're gonna go over the Mason Chow Custom Future Gohan. Clearly this is not Gohan, this is a Saiyan raised on Earth Son Goku, but this figure is necessary in order to make this conversion kit. If you're wondering how to get this, you have to visit this guy's uh, Instagram, at Mason Chow, and then you gotta message him and he'll tell you how to purchase one. Overall, you're looking to spend about almost $90 to get this kit to work. Wow, that's a lot of money, considering that you have to buy this and you have to buy the kit. So if you really want a future Gohan, that's what you have to do. Uh, my good friend on Discord, Dylan Briones, has offered this to me. He said, hey, can you, can you put this together? And I said, sure, only if I could review it. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to tell you how to put this together. I've already gone through it. And then I had to put Goku back, so let's go over it, let's just jump right into it right now. First off, let's see what you get. So there it is, This you get this little uh, printed, uh, completed kit right there. And let me show you here. So you get the uh, torn uh, the broken arm, the arm that's no longer on Gohan. <laughs> uh, you get a right arm sleeve and a left arm sleeve. And of course you get uh, the future Gohan head. And also he gives you a little bit of like clay, but honestly I found that you did not need this. So that's what comes with this. And it comes in a box. It takes about two to three weeks to get to you if you choose the cheapest shipping method. So let's go over the first step. Now the first step is if you want to make this the most authentic looking future Gohan, you gotta work on those boots, right? So you need to cover up the yellow lines on Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku. So as you can see here, he has yellow lines on his boots. And that is super easy. This is exactly what you need right here. These are the paints. You can airbrush it. You can paint it with a brush, whatever you want to do. You need flat black and Suzy blue from Mr. Color. Let's look at those. Let's give it a second so you guys know exactly what you need to color those. So what you need to do is you need to mix it until you get this type of blue. This is like a really deep, dark blue that you get and it fits perfectly with future Gohan's boots right there. So once you get that done, that's pretty much it. You got the boots ready and you're ready to rock and roll. Second thing you have to do is you have to remove the stickers. There's usually, I believe right here on Goku's side right here, you need to remove this completely because future Gohan doesn't have that. And then you need to remove the back right here. And if you're wondering how to do that, all you need is some Mr. Color leveling thinner or any, uh, acr uh, not even, a, not acrylic, sorry. You need a lacquer thinner and you just get a Q-tip and this is what I did. I just got a Q-tip, dipped it and I scrubbed it off until there's nothing there. And the reason why you need to do this is because he gives you two of these stickers, which we will put on at the very, very end of this video because we have to put on the most important thing. And if you're saying, you know, is it the Gohan head? No, it is not the Gohan head. We got to put on the arms. So, I have some hot water right here. And this is the hardest part. Uh, when taking off um, Sand Raised on Earth Goku's arms, it's pretty difficult to put back. It's easy to remove, but hard to put back. And I'm going to uh, share some tips, especially for those people who have broken their Sand Raised on Earth Goku and their arm can't go back in. This will help you tremendously. So, Let's take off these arms and then we're going to put on the Gohan arms and in the same time you're going to learn how to put it back. So the first thing you want to do, let's remove Go Goku's head, right? And let's start by removing the arms right here. So what I have here, I have a cup of hot water, put it in the microwave, three minutes, super hot, almost boiling hot here. And we're going to dip in the first arm, right? So the, what we're going to do, as you can see on the top cam, we're just put, trying to put the shoulder in, right? And we put it in there for a solid 10 seconds. And this arm should just pop off like that, right? Now we're going to do it to the other one. Let's do that right now. So we're going to put it in there for another 10 seconds or so. Don't want to soak the entire figure. We just want to try to get these arms off. So now that you have the arms off, let's proceed to disassembling the arm right here. So first thing we've got to remove this and then 
we need to pull this part, the top part right here, the bicep swivel. You need to pull on that, and that will come off, right? So there you have it, hand comes off too, and then you can pull it off like so, all right? Don't worry, if, if I'm going too fast, we're gonna do it again uh, when we do the other arm. So now that we have that, we have Gohan's sleeved arm right here. And then what you wanna do is you want to assemble this, right? So this is the part that a lot of people have. So usually this part will come off of your Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku and you can't plug it back in. So I'm gonna tell you how you can achieve this. All right, so here's what you're gonna to need to put this together. You're gonna to need micro pliers. I know your people out there is, can I use these giant pliers? What are you doing? You're doing it wrong. Get micro pliers, okay? I am sick and tired of everyone saying, can I use these giant pliers? And then next thing you know, you break your toy. Micro pliers are the way to go. Please, please, please use these. Do not use those giant pliers. I'm begging you, don't. You're gonna ruin your toy. No, Goku. Okay, so I have the right arm here. Let's take this out of the pack. Again, micro pliers to, to remove everything. So we got the right one. And I believe this is it. Yeah, so this is the correct sleeve. I just gotta make sure. Just one second. So we've disassembled everything. First thing we want to do is we want to grab this one. This this joint right here. Okay, the one with the ball joint at the end. And let's plug this guy in. Just like that. Right? We want it to be flush. Okay. Now we're gonna take this tricep or tricep yeah the forearm not the tricep forearm i'm gonna plug it in like so see that opening part right there i'm gonna plug that in as well now here's where things get tricky this is where everyone has issues what i like to do to make sure this works is we're gonna heat up this and we're gonna heat up this so what i like to do is just take this let's dunk it in the hot water for 10 seconds Okay, and then we're gonna take this one, we're gonna hold this, and we're gonna dunk this in hot water as well. Okay, so here it goes, here it goes. On camera, this is how you do it. Make sure you align the peg with the socket, and with the force of the, of the, <clears throat> there you go, of the pliers, you're gonna force that in and push it until you heard it click. You guys heard it click, right? Let's try that again, just to be sure. One more time. In three, two. <clears throat> so there you have it. You heard it pop. There you have it. Now we did a little bit of scratching right there, but there's nothing that a little bit of paint won't fix that up. And not to mention, the sleeve actually goes over it, so. We're okay with that. So let's get the sleeve on. Again, this is the hardest part of the whole the whole building process is to put on that. And I notice this is a little bit loose, but we can fix that with Fixer Elixir. And then what we want to do, oh yeah, we want to heat this up. Just the socket. And then plug this back in. And there it is, it's popped in. Gohan's hand is ready. We can even put the hand in just to see what it looks like. There you have it. That takes a, a little bit of practice, but once you get it down, uh, it's pretty easy, <laughs> I guess. Ah, <sighs> oh, got it. Woo, that was tough, okay. So you can see, required a lot of force, but once you get it, man, geez. Anyway, all right, let's get this uh, sleeve on. I know it's tough, guys, but you got to be patient. It's you, it's pretty durable too, so don't think you're gonna break it by pushing real hard.
And then let's plug this guy back in. Actually, I keep forgetting, we gotta heat it up. <sighs> okay, there you have it. Snapped in. All right, and let's get a hand on him. And let's complete this up. And the head just pops right in. So there you have it. Future Gohan with two arms ready to go. Wow. I have to say this kit, once you're done with it, it does look really nice and first off let's look at the face there dang and the hair is really nice too they really painted this well but there's something i have to tell you that once you get the paint down you gotta this paint is not very durable it looks like they forgot to put like a matte coat on it to uh to make sure that it works so there it is now we're down to the last step Let's remove the arm and then we'll put in this one, right? So we want to remove this one again. And I think the joint is still heated up. Yep. And this is the last thing we're going to do here. So I'm going to disassemble this. It's a little bit tough to plug in. There we go. Jeez. The Saiyan race on Earth, Goku, has really tight joints. And pretty much this one, all you got to do is that. And that's pretty much it. And I think we could put the, the sleeve back on. I don't think the sleeve is on it, but there you go. And there's Gohan. The androids took his arm. And there you have it. Uh, last thing we're gonna do a little bit of water here and We're gonna work on the sticker. So supposedly this is a water sticker. I believe So this is my first time even doing something like this. We got some tweezers here, and this is just regular cold water We're gonna dunk it in And you get two of these by the way, so you get two chances at it, it Says to soak this and we should be able to just peel that off, right? Oh, yes. So we could just pull that off. See, once you get it wet, you could just pull it off. It's a little bit stiff. Feel on it. We can. This is the proper way to do it. We should just be able to plug that in. And that right there, absolutely gorgeous. And there you have it, everyone. Future Gohan. Let's come up with a conclusion. Is this a tough conversion kit? It's tough because Gohan or Goku, Saiyan raised on Earth, Goku's arms are difficult to remove. It requires some practice. Uh, yeah, that's really the hardest part. In all honesty, even though this video is like a couple of minutes, it took me like 30 to 40 minutes to complete. And as you can see right here, the paint has been tearing off because it's not that durable. But again, you have paint right here as Gohan falls. You have paint right here that you already mixed to try to work on the boots. So this paint will help you cover up those patches. I think what else you need to do in order to make sure that this kit works is you need a flat coat to put on this arm right here. So uh, after you're done painting it, that is. So I think that's the biggest issue I have is that they didn't really use a high quality paint on the sleeve. But once you get the paint now, which I told you the recipe, it's pretty much these two. You need more black than blue and you should be good to go. And overall, I have to say, that looks really cool. <laughs> That's really cool. So if anyone out there loved the OAV of um, with trunks, 
with future trunks and teen trunks and you just got to have future gohan this is really the only way to go for now all you got to do is vi visit this guy mason chow there he is and hit him up say hey i want one <laughs> and then he'll try his best to sell it to you anyway guys thanks for watching do not forget to rate comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when we post new videos and i'll see you guys next time So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.